we have come to the final subtopic of chemical bonding which is metallic bond hopefully at the end of the lesson you should be able to explain the formation of metallic bond by using the electron c model and explain the factors that affect the strength of metallic bond you should know that most of the elements in the periodic table are metals metals are found in the center and left side of the periodic table they can be further classified as alkali metals alkaline earth metals and transition metals metals are solid at room temperature except mercury metal elements form metallic structure in a metallic structure metals atoms can be imagined as an array of positive ions immersed in a sea of delocalized valence electrons metallic structure also known as electron c model as you can see in the diagram, the positively charged metal ions is surrounded by a sea of delocalized electron. The sea of delocalized electron is made up of the valence electrons of the metal elements. If we compare a boiling point of water, which is a covalent molecules with the boiling point of a copper metal definitely the copper metal has higher boiling point than water molecules why do this happen remember that intermolecular forces between water molecules is hydrogen bonding but for metal elements the boiling points of a metal is determined by the strength of metallic bond. And of course, a metallic bond is stronger than hydrogen bonding. What is metallic bond? Metallic bond can be defined as the electrostatic force between the positively charged metal ions and the sea of delocalized electron. Metal element has higher tendency to form positive ion by removing its valence electron to achieve octet configuration. The valence electron removed from the metal element will form an electrostatic force with the positively charged metal ion to form metallic bond. The following slides show the metallic structure for sodium, magnesium and aluminium. You can see that the number of free electrons or delocalized electrons in the structure is directly proportional to the number of valence electrons of the metal meaning that the higher the number of valence electron the higher the amount of electrostatic forces form between the positively charged metal ions and the sea of delocalized electrons therefore different amount of energy needed to overcome the metallic bond in sodium, magnesium and aluminium. The unique features of metallic structure has affected the properties of metal. In electron C model or in the metallic structure, metal ions can easily slide over each other to new lattice positions when sufficient force is applied. Therefore, metal can have the ability to be deformed or pressed into different shapes under compression. This property is called malleability. For example, gold and silver metals are the most malleable metals. As you know, gold and silver are commonly used as 
jewelries. This is because they can be hammered into various shapes of ring, necklace or other shapes of jewelries. Metal also can be stretched or pulled into a wire. This property is called ductility. The example of metal used as wire are copper, aluminium and iron. Due to the presence of the delocalized electrons which can move freely over the entire metal, mobile electrons can act as charge carriers in the conduction of electricity. Electric wires in our home are made of aluminium and copper. They are a good conductor of electricity. Electricity flows most easily through gold, silver, copper and aluminium. For example, copper wires are used in electrical appliances while aluminium is cheaper generally used for making electrical cable. The mobile electrons can also act as energy carriers in the conduction of heat. For example, cooking utensils and water boilers are made of iron, copper and aluminium because they are good conductors of heat. Now we are going to study the factors that affect the strength of metallic bond. The strength of metallic bonds depends on two factors. Firstly, the number of valence electron and the other factor is the size of positively charged metal ion. The strength of metallic bond is directly proportional to the number of valence electron. But, the strength of metallic bond is inversely proportional to the size of positively charged metal ions. Now let us take a look at the first example which has higher boiling point between sodium and magnesium. Explain your answer. Remember that boiling point is affected by the strength of metallic bond. Since both sodium and magnesium has different number of valence electron, therefore we are going to use the factors of number of valence electron. You have to state the number of valence electron. For example, sodium has one valence electron and magnesium has two valence electron. Since the strength of metallic bond is directly proportional to the number of valence electron, Thus, magnesium has stronger metallic bond than sodium. Therefore, magnesium has higher boiling point than sodium. For second example, the question is which has higher boiling point between sodium and potassium? Explain your answer. Sodium and potassium are elements of the same group, which is group 1. Therefore, both of them has the same number of valence electron, which is 1 valence electron. So, we are going to use the factor of the size of positively charged metal ion. Therefore, you need to compare the size of sodium ion and the size of potassium ion. In this case, sodium ion has smaller size than potassium ion. Therefore, the strength of metallic bond is inversely proportional to the size of positively charged metal ions. Thus, Sodium has stronger metallic bond than potassium. Therefore, sodium has higher boiling point than potassium.